Hmm. If you were to ask me directly and I were to think about the last few projects, then I would say I'm one of the workhorses of the team. I know that sounds a little bit pretentious, but aside from me, there aren't many people in the department who really put the effort in. Which is why I expect something in the way of a promotion in the near future. Ben is doing really well and he is ambitious. He throws himself into every new project with zeal. But what he's still missing is a bit of perspective. At the moment, he doesn't plan the projects very realistically. But that's normal for young people. Once he's worked here for two or three more years, he'll understand how things work. And I think the other colleagues are good role models for him. What happens when a team member does not have a realistic view of his or her own performance? They perform below their own potential. It will be difficult for them to develop their strengths and reduce their weaknesses. Therefore, there's nothing better than a healthy self-image. This is made very clear by the model which has become famous as the Johari window. Two different perspectives are important for a realistic self-image, the internal and external perspectives. The internal perspective includes everything that a person can possibly know about him or herself. The external perspective refers to everything other people are capable of knowing about the person. Every individual has characteristics that it knows about, and others which are hidden from it. At the same time, other people perceive many things about the person, while other things remain unknown. The place where the self-image and public image overlap is the public persona. What persons know about themselves, but which is hidden from others, is referred to as the secret. The characteristics which are known neither to the individuals themselves nor to the other people comprise the unknown. And then there is the blind spot, that is, what other people can see about a person, but the person him or herself cannot. The more an individual is willing to share of itself, the larger the public persona will be. This means that communication will also be that much more effective. But the environment can also play a part. When someone else gives an honest description of the public image, then the person's blind spot is reduced, provided this is done constructively. The technique to do so is called feedback. Feedback is not to be confused with either praise or criticism. It primarily serves to expand the self-image and is therefore an important building block for the development of the personality. Professional feedback can encourage an employee by highlighting hidden strengths. It can also identify weaknesses, which the person then has the opportunity to correct and improve on. Both are valuable insights for the employee as well as for the company. Therefore, the more regularly feedback is used, the better.